ES Audio. How's it going? I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, Algo Speak, the secret codes people are using online. But first, the James Webb Telescope has struck again, this time sending back some extraordinary images of Neptune. The pictures of the planet and its rings have been heralded as some of the clearest shots of Neptune in decades, showing the pearly white orb surrounded by sparkling rings. It's the first time it's been pictured since the Voyager 2 mission flew past the ice giants back in 1989. You can see those pictures by following the link in our show notes. The creators of circular fashion app Depop have opened up their newest app, Delhi, to everyone. Our dream is to enable anyone who has passion about making anything. So you can make kombucha, you can make chili sauce, you can make kefir. We have people on Delhi making spicy honey, zero alcohol beer. It's a new food marketplace for people to buy and sell local homemade produce through the app. Simon Beckerman, co-founder of Depop and this new app, told us he was inspired to create Delhi after seeing entrepreneurs using social media to sell their homemade food. People who are selling on Delhi now are very interesting because before Delhi, especially in the past years, they have been trying to sell in all sorts of ways. Many have been selling on WhatsApp, so having groups on WhatsApp in their neighborhood. Others are listing their products on Instagram or TikTok. Sellers just need to register as a food business with their local council to get started on Delhi. Simon said apps like Depop and Delhi are great at connecting people and small businesses, but told us there's still lots to learn about a world run by apps. I think we are in a phase historically where this is a, such a new product that we're still learning how to use them. So it's an incredible, powerful tool that we're still learning how to use that can give a lot of opportunities to a lot of people. Now, for something you might not have heard of, AlgoSpeak. AlgoSpeak is this alternate language used on social media by users who will speak in code words or euphemisms or by deliberately misspelling certain words in order to discuss either controversial or sensitive topics. It's something spreading across social media in both positive and negative ways, as Alex Levine, a journalist from Forbes in the US, has been exploring. She's been speaking with TELUS International, a content moderation company that's moderated for the big social sites, including TikTok. They described a trend that they were seeing in the wake of the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, where people started talking about abortion and abortion-related issues using the term camping. She said some code words and even emojis are also used to signify illegal content online, making it harder for moderation systems to block or delete posts. And she said once a trend or code becomes too popular, people stop using them and move on to the next one. It just goes to show kind of how quickly these trends emerge and then how quickly it moves on to the next thing. And that's part of what makes it so complex for AI and human reviewers to be, you know, keeping tabs on or or moderating. New research suggests looking at tummy fats can give a better indication of your risk of developing health problems than measuring your BMI. Researchers at the University College Cork in Ireland found that waist to hip ratio is a much better predictor of early death. But an expert from University College London said, while mortality is important, for many people living with obesity, it's everyday symptoms like painful joints and breathlessness that really impact on quality of life and may relate better to weight than fat distribution. Now, some good news for sea turtles. New analysis suggests illegal turtle poaching has dropped sharply since 2000. It found that more than 1 million sea turtles were illegally harvested between 1990 and 2020. But the research has also found that the illegal catch from 2010 to 2020 was nearly 30% lower than that in the previous decade. Experts at Arizona State University said their study shows exploitation is not having a negative impact on sea turtle populations on a global scale. They said their numbers suggest that conservation efforts could be working. Coming up, a US flying taxi firm shuts down its operations, plus the mixed reaction from the US Space Force's new official song. Why not rate us and give us a follow in the meantime? Welcome back. 
It turns out babies in the womb react differently depending on the food their mother eats. Researchers at Durham University used 4D ultrasounds of 100 pregnant women to see if their babies would give a reaction after they ate a tablet filled with either carrot powder or kale powder. They found that fetuses whose mothers had taken the carrot tablets appeared to make smiling faces soon afterwards, but for those who took the kale tablets, their babies made crying faces. It's believed they can experience the flavour of their mother's food by inhaling or swallowing amniotic fluid in the womb. A company backed by Google co-founder Larry Page, set up to create autonomous flying taxis, has shut down. Kitty Hawk was set up in 2017 with the vision of building autonomous, affordable, ubiquitous and eco-conscious air taxis. Over the years, it's shared footage of various flying vehicles, but none that went into production. In a post on LinkedIn on Wednesday, the firm confirms that a decision had been made to wind down Kitty Hawk, but that they're still working on the details of what's next. And finally, there's been a mixed response to the official song release of the US military's newest branch, Space Force. The official song is called Semper Supra, which means always above in Latin, and has the opening lyrics, with a mighty watchful eye, guardians beyond the blue. But it's not had the best response from people who've criticised the old style of music and the lyrics. One Twitter user called it a funny tune, and a website dedicated to covering America's armed forces said it's not a banger. Plus, Kevin Barron, the executive editor of military news site Defence One, tweeted, The tune is a fine march. The lyrics are awful. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock for the Leader Podcast. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon at one. Catch you then.